You know that an atom consists of a small central core called the nucleus and a surrounding cloud of electrons moving in specific orbits around the nucleus. The nucleus further comprises of protons and neutrons and it is in the nucleus that most of the atomic mass resides. So mass of an atom should be equal to the sum of the masses of the constituent particles. That is the mass of the nucleus plus the mass of surrounding electrons should be equal to the masses of the number of neutrons and protons present in the nucleus plus the surrounding electrons. Electron masses cancels out on both sides so we are left with mass of nucleus should be equal to the masses of number of neutrons and protons. But that's not the case. Mass of the nucleus is slightly less than the masses of individual protons and neutrons when they are separate. But according to Einstein's principle of equivalence of mass and energy, mass and energy are interchangeable. Which means that mass can be converted into energy and vice versa. Also energy can neither be created nor be destroyed so total energy should be conserved. So why does this happen? The reason is when a nucleus is formed certain amount of mass is destroyed and gets converted into energy. That means that mass of the nucleus when the nucleons are bound together plus some delta m should be equal to the mass of the nucleons when they are separate. Which means this. So nuclear mass defect is the difference between the sum of the masses of individual neutrons and protons present in the nucleus and the actual mass of the nucleus. That means that mass defect is always positive. This lost mass is converted into energy according to the Einstein's equation. Energy is equal to delta mc square. This energy acts as a glue to keep the nucleons together in a nucleus. So this energy is also called the binding energy of the nucleus. Which means that an amount of energy equal to the mass defect must be supplied in order to separate the nucleus into individual nucleons. Or you can say that the binding energy is the energy released when a nucleus is formed from those nucleons. Or you can say that the energy required to keep the nucleons together is provided by the mass defect. So in a helium nucleus we have two protons and two neutrons. So multiplying the masses of protons and neutrons with their respective numbers in a particular nucleus and by adding the two masses we obtain the total expected mass. However it is observed that the actual mass of 4 helium is this slightly less than the total expected mass. So mass defect is the expected minus the observed mass. Also the relation between atomic mass units and MeV units of energy is this. Therefore the binding energy of 4 helium nucleus comes out to be this. 